like to make our stamp on the world, I suppose. Yeah, I don't quite know why. I was first in a group called Joy Division, and uh, I lasted for about four years in the late 70s, very late 70s and early 80s, and that ended when uh, our singer Ian Curtis uh, died rather suddenly. And um, we decided that if any one member of the group left, then we would no longer call the group by the name Joy Division. So we formed New Order, and uh, our girl joined the group, Gillian Gilbert, and she became a keyboard player. And uh, after a bit of trials and tribulations at the beginning, when we were finding our footing, um, we eventually became a mega successful super group. <laughs> we kind of got stuck in a rut with the sound of Joy Division and we wanted, well, I can only speak for myself, but wanted to move on and try and find a new sound. And uh, we kind of got interested in electronics, sequences and synthesizers. Uh, I was always very technically minded, so uh, I loved it. You know, it really appealed to me. And uh, why more? It was a new direction, and we got really got into it. For some strange reason, I don't know why a lot of New Order's music gets used on sports programs. And um, the football authority saw this program, and they saw our name at the end of it, and they liked the music, so they asked us to write the England World Cup song. I think they were a bit sick of um, Chaz and Days and all crap like that, you know. So um, we thought, again, you know, it's a, a, a wacky thing to do for us. We thought, what a strange thing. We'll do it. I don't think we're going to split up. Um, but you never know what's going to happen tomorrow, do you? You know, look at poor old Martin on it. But um, I don't think we've got any intentions of splitting up. I think the whole touring thing, I mean, New Order gradually became a touring monster, um, especially in the States, uh, because we were getting more and more successful and the temptation of all that money that you could make from touring became too much, especially as we were in dire financial circumstances with Hacienda, you know, we had to find some way of financing that. So we had to do it really, but eventually, you know, I just ground to a halt.